The Dallas Mavericks looking to do what the Texas Rangers did in November, and that's win a world title, and they moved one step closer to that this evening. It's the get right here on 105.3 The Fan. Will Chambers in for Reggie Atatula with the fan phenom. Blake Elliott and Chris Young, and it's time to celebrate. <laughs> we got Chris Young now. We got everybody in the pimp Jeez, <laughs> Chris Strong, I'm all over it. All it's over okay. It. We're going to the finals, Can't baby. Be. Come on. Six ten left to go in the first quarter. The Dallas Mavericks took a sixteen to fifteen lead over the Minnesota Timberwolves in Game Five of the Western Conference Finals, and they never gave it back. They will now, for the third time, reach the NBA Finals to take on the Boston Celtics who will be in the finals for their 23rd appearance. Game one will be Thursday night, June 6th at 7.30 from TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts, where Jason Kidd will look to win a title as head coach and player for the Mavericks, of course, winning back in 2011. The storylines here, Blake. There's a, there's a gajillion. Kyrie Irving and Kristaps Porzingis will be facing their former teams. Yep. You're going to have Luka. You'll have Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, uh, among some others, but those are the three right there that highlight those that will be looking for their first NBA title. Yep. And uh, look, uh, you know, we sit here 13 years later, and it we thought back in March that there were starting to get these feelings, a very 2011-like feeling. And they had not lost back-to-back games since outside of the end of the season when the Mavericks were resting their starters. And with a 124-103 win led by Luka Doncic, who was absolutely sensational. It's amazing to me that he did not get to what I predicted earlier. He could have got 40, but what, what do you know? 36. Up with? 36. He had 12 points in the first like three minutes. Yeah. He had, what, 22 at the half, yep. but the game well in hand throughout the entirety yep. of really three quarters and, of this game. And we could give you a bunch of stats. Three and a half. And this and that. I'm going to be honest. Luca just kicked their ass. I mean, there's there's really nothing else to, to put to it. Luca took this game over from the first jump. And did it all the way throughout the game. Did other players hit shots? They, I, I will say this: they played amazing defense. They were sworn in that first half. They were diving on loose balls. They were checking every shot at the rim. Derek Lively was so important having him out there. Derek Jones Jr., Josh Green, all those guys were making all the hustle plays to allow Luca to be able to do the things he did on offense. But just, I don't, I don't even have the words to say. If you're if you're a Dallas Mavs fan right now, you got to be elated. Everybody has been counting you out. And every single series you played in this playoffs, you were not the favorite. All your little favorite national hosts, I got the Clippers. I got OKC. SGA's better. I I oh the Timberwolves, they just beat the defending world champs. They got, I there were some people saying they were going to sweep the Mavs. And then people say, "Oh, Wolves in 4 and 5, Wolves in 7." No. No, it was never Wolves, it was never Clippers, it was never OKC, and it's not going to be Boston. I'm sorry, they don't got the dogs, they don't got the closers, they don't got the alphas. The two biggest alphas on the series will both be wearing D-A-L across their chest, and that's Kyrie Irving, and that's Luka Doncic. It doesn't matter. I don't care what defensive scheme you throw out there. This team is special. They've got the juice, and now they're going to the NBA Finals. If you're a Tolo right now and you're not texting in, you're not watching us, you're not jumping in your car, then you're not really a Tolo. I don't know what to tell you. You should be on your feet right now. I don't even care if you're in your car. You can be on your feet in your car. Take your shoes off. Jump around as long as you're not on a plane. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I uh, I said this on Saturday, and then you and I hosted a show on Memorial Day, yep. right? And I joked around, and I said, look, you know, home of the world champion Texas Rangers, You've got two teams in the Western Conference Finals with the Dallas Mavericks ahead at the time, the Dallas Stars ahead, and uh, the Dallas Cowboys haven't done anything yet to disappoint us today. Yep. And uh, 469, please, for the love of God, do not let a Dallas Cowboy be in attendance for a finals game for the Mavericks. I, I also, also... I guess uh, someone else is going to have to send Micah Parsons those Anthony Edwards shoes for game six. Yeah. Because yeah. AEA coming back. Go buy your own. 
Go buy your own. Get all the Chiefs in, because when Mahomes and Kelsey is there, we play great. It was um, a virtuoso performance, and um, I wish I could give credit. This is so far back on the uh, fan text that I can't get to it that it was as if they said, we're leaving this one to the history books yep. tonight, y'all. Um, From the first tip. And it really was. Um, it was about three and a half minutes into the game when Luca had points 11 and 12. He finishes with 36, 10, and 5. 14 of 22 from the floor, 6 of 10 from 3. He and was equaled by Kyrie Irving, <laughs> who went 4 of 10 from 3, but 36 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Well, I mean, what, what else is there to say, Will? You have the two best players... In the series, Anthony Edwards is all world. Not disagreeing with that. Did but, not. Th- but this right. is why a 22 year old, it's hard to lead your team to a championship. He, Anthony Edwards is still going to be a top five, six player next year. But when it comes to playoffs and having that experience, that's why the smart people say that the, the things that they say. SGA is better than a lot of players, but experience comes into it. The Timberwolves, the Thunder, they'll be here next year. But having a guy like Kyrie who's won an NBA Finals. Having a guy like Luca, who's been to a Western Conference, Conference Finals, Finals. Uh, like yeah, that right. experience shows where we take a loss, we go on the road, a heckler's in his head, well, and, and, and he and, takes it to him. And, and to your point, remember the first uh, four games of this series, Minnesota had a lead with five minutes left and to go, and all of them until tonight. Yep. <laughs> it wasn't even close. So <laughs> I, I completely agree with you on what you're saying about these young guys, young talent, uh, but almost a rite of passage. It used to be that way for my entirety growing up. You know, I mean, it was, you know, my earliest memories, it was all Lakers, Celtics. Yep. And, um, but the Celtics had to kind of fight through Philadelphia at the time. And then Detroit had to fight through Boston. And then Chicago had to fight through Detroit. And this is when the West was kind of, you know, uh, was waning for a while uh, until Houston was able to break through once, you know, Michael was gone for a couple years. You see a little bit of that rite of passage, it seems now, uh, because that'll clearly be the case. You know, Jokic had, you know, been he there, lost, he lost, lost the, and yeah. then they won. Yeah. And now you've had Tatum there several times and lost. Now, uh, and I mean to... Conference finals, yeah. not just the NBA finals, because yeah. you could see them get there for the first time and win. We have seen that. Yeah. And that could be the case with uh, with Luka. I got to give two shout-outs. One, shout-out to Derek Lively. All the things that he's gone through, we know what's happened in his personal life. Had two injuries in these playoffs, bounced back, and has probably been the third most important Mav, and some nights the second most important Mav. Been resilient. I just big shout-outs to him. A 20-year-old rookie being so much weight on his shoulders and performing the way that he's performing. There's not enough words that I could say for how important Derek Lively is and how great he has been in these playoffs. And then my last shout out, thank you Timberwolves fan that was in the front row for losing your team this game. They were going to lose anyways. Don't get it twisted. But you just made it so much more embarrassing because you know, Will, you know the moment that guy opened his mouth, Luca was like, okay, maybe it was just 20, triple-double, close win. Oh, I'm going to ether these boys. I'm going to ether them, and that's what he did. Luka Doncic received all nine votes from the media (laughs) panel covering the Western Conference Finals to win the MVP of said series. Let's go. Add another one to the collection book. So we wait uh, one week from tonight, Thursday, June 6th at 7.30, as I mentioned, Game 1 of the NBA Finals from TD Garden and Boston, Massachusetts. The Boston Celtics, for the 23rd time, will be in the NBA Finals, and they will host the Dallas Mavericks, who will be there for the third time in franchise history, the first time since winning the championship back in 2011. Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, spectacular. 36 points apiece, 12 from P.J. Washington, 11 from Daniel Gafford, who, oh, by the way, had the biggest plus minus on the team tonight at plus 26. Did anybody Luke have a minus? Plus 22. Did anyone have a minus for the math? Uh, yes, there there were a few, actually. Okay. Um, 
I, I'm not going to beat him up any more than he gets beat up on the daily anyway. Uh, on the other side for Minnesota, their stars may not have uh, shown up in the manner in which they needed, but let's be honest here. This game was over by the time we hit the second quarter. 28 points apiece from Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns. Edwards went 10 of 18 from the field, 4 of 6 from 3, had 9 rebounds and 6 assists. Carl Anthony Towns went 1 of 6 from 3. Again, mm. struggling from the outside, went 9 of 20 from the floor, did have 12 rebounds to go along with his 28 points. Those were the only two players for the Timberwolves to reach double figures tonight in Game 5. The 2 on 4 mentions something really interesting. Jordan Brand athlete versus Jordan Brand athlete. Tatum and Luka, you know MJ is going to be there. Who isn't a Jordan Brand athlete anymore? I know. I mean, I... We know. I who, know there's a few, but damn, I mean, that's got to be. We know they're kind of outliers. We know who his favorite is, though. It's, it's that boy in Dallas. He loves Luca, because bro, Luca is. I don't know how else to put this. Luca don't act how he look. Luca, Luca, Luca's got that dog in him. Luca, Luca plays like he he's re- he's ready. He's ready for any smoke you want to give him. He's not a push him around kind of guy. I know he's all doughy looking and. Not, yeah, I mean, he, but he, he honestly he looks but, like he's going to walk into a pub and grab a pint and a dart and just fire one down. No, he's going to ether you and talk crap the entire game. And then another fan texted in. I thought this was really good. I want to find the number to shout it out correctly. And I can't find it, but I remember they were talking about 2011. I don't I don't remember where your number How went. How do we not have beer here? Do we have beer here? We need beer. Should we open it up the lines too? <laughs> yeah, we should open the lines. We'll do that. We want to do that next segment? Yeah. We'll open up the line. Line them up. 877-881-1053. Give us a call. You want to let us know what you think. Just don't make us dump you. Yeah. Don't, don't make us dump you. But speaking of For dump. Bring everything else, baby. Does this not feel like 2011? When um, the, 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 remember the Lakers? Yeah. Closeout yeah. game. Absolutely eat for them. Three-point record. Jason Terry, Paige Stokovich. Yeah. It, it, it did. It does on so many levels because... Um, the only difference to me being is that you had one superstar. Yep. Where now you clearly have two. Clearly. But outside of that, you had guys that were just kind of um, forgotten, mm-hmm. uh, maybe overlooked or just disregarded. Yep. And that was the case. Well, I mean, with PJ Washington. I mean, I may be a little hyperbolic on that. Derrick Jones Jr. Derrick Jones Jr. and Veteran PJ, minimum. the first ones that I thought of when we're like, we're like, nah, not really feeling it. Myself with PJ. included. Dante yeah. Exum. I know he hasn't been that big in this series, but just all season long, these are guys that no one really knew about, cared about, and these guys are playing pivotal moments. Josh Green. Everyone was ready for us to trade him. I remember that. Not saying he's the MVP, but he's giving you rotational. Jaden Hardy. 